Before I start this review, I'm gonna go ahead and say I have never seen the 1930s one or the 50s one. I, I have seen a lot of the 70s one. I have seen a lot of that one, but I've never seen the original movie. So this review is just completely on this new movie. A Star is Born. This movie is directed and starring Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga as our main two leads. This is a remake of a movie that has been remade like three times or something like that. Either way, I've seen the original, like the, one, the 70s one, but I've never seen the original, original one with Judy Garland and all kind of stuff. But this movie is a new version of Star is Born. And it, again, this is a movie that if you are in the movie world or know anything about movies coming out, Oscars, stuff like that, then you've heard of this movie because this movie has been getting praised by reviews as like a 95 out of 100. I was very excited because the trailers looked like they didn't show much, which they didn't. And so I was really excited to see this movie early Wednesday night. It was a packed theater and I walked out with this whole crowd smiling because A Star Is Born is 100% a deserving 95 out of 100. This movie was fantastic. It was so good and if you have a girlfriend or anything like that, take her to see it because I will definitely be doing that next week because this was a fantastic movie for that. And my god, Bradley Cooper. So the main storyline is Bradley Cooper is this country singer. He's a, It's like country music, right? Yeah, it's rock music, whatever. And he meets this girl at a bar who is Lady Gaga. She's a singer. She has a beautiful voice and he's like... I think you're a songwriter. They start a love story, they get together, and they start making her a star, and then things evolution to things where they start, I don't want to get into it, but uh, it starts to grow out of stuff, and stuff starts to grow, and some people start to decline, you know what I mean. But A Star Is Born, I mean, where to begin? First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and say this. Bradley Cooper is one of the best actors we have gotten today. He is hands down someone I think deserves many more Oscars. He was great in Silver Linings. He was fantastic in American Hustle and he was just stellar amazing in Amer American Sniper. He's been nominated for Oscars many times but this in my opinion is his best performance without a doubt. Bradley Cooper is amazing. I mean he plays a drunk in this movie and he plays it to a T. He is a Amazing. He deserves a bet. He is. He's guaranteed a Best Actor nomination. I don't know if he's gonna win. There's a lot of competition. But if I was the Oscar people, he would be my front runner. Now for Lady Gaga, I mean, give her the Oscar. She's winning Best Actress. She's amazing. I mean, besides the amazing singing, she's a great singer. That's just given. She's Lady Gaga. She is amazing in this movie. She is fantastic. She is so likable. And there's sometimes you can't like her, but then again, you care for her. And both these characters, their relationship felt so real. And it was amazing to see. And the love story is just... I think this movie could go down as one of the best love stories we have ever gotten in the 21st century. They, they, I love their love story, their connection, their relationship. Their, them singing together is beautiful because the music in this movie is just... The music and the sound design is so good in this movie. I love the music. I love the sound design. Their singing is great. Bradley Cooper learned how to play the guitar and all that kind of stuff. And it was amazing of how he did it. Lady Gaga, again, her singing voice is great. She is going to win Best Actress. I just, I know it. I just know it. She is going to win Best Actress. I hope to God Bradley Cooper either wins acting or directing. Because the directing... I'm not just saying this. I truly think Bradley Cooper could direct a not like a big budget movie. I I think that because his directing was so great. One of my favorite things is the camera and every time there's a rocks concert or whatever like that, it never goes in the crowd. It's always in the concert, up in their faces, up in the microphones, up in the piano. It's in the concert, up on stage, not in the crowd, which I loved. And my God, just to give another shout out, Sam Elliott. I think he might be getting a Best Supporting Actor nomination. He was fantastic in this movie. He is, there is some emotional stuff with him and Bradley Cooper that had me teary-eyed. There are so many sad moments in this movie. Then there's actually funny moments. The dialogue felt so real and the accent Bradley Cooper did. I mean, this is these are reasons why he should be nominated for acting and directing and I mean the screenplay is great the music is great the story is so good it is predictable you can see where it's going 
but how it ends up in execution is what matters and this movie is A plus material through all those everything and the ending is so dark and sad and I won't tell you why but when you see it it is it made everyone in my theater cry that's all I'm gonna say I got teary eyed very much Overall, A Star is Born is the 100% one of the best movies of the year. If I had any criticisms, sometimes the pacing was a little slow, and, so, and it was very predictable, but again, the movie as a whole is amazing. It's, it is so good. It's good story, good acting. You need to see it. I am going to give A Star is Born an extremely high A. It is an awesome movie. Go and see it. And I I don't I think this movie has a chance to beat Venom this weekend because the, my theater was packed. I mean, yes, it was an early screening, but it was packed. But I can't wait for you guys to see it. It is just such a good movie. Bradley Cooper, man, I hope he wins an Oscar. Lady Gaga, it's go ahead and give her the trophy. Anyway, guys, if you guys enjoy this review, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.